Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This one is really going to be helpful because I'm going to teach you how you can take some of your commanders from one nation and transfer them to another nation for free instead of having them charge you gold for it. Let me show you. I'm going to put a commander in this tank well, I'm going to show you what it was going to what it would cost me to do so. Let's go. Where now that the tank is a goofy tank, but he would look. It would be awesome if we had Voitech in there. Now, what you do is you find your commander. Now, and not every commander is going to have this capability. Some will, some won't. It's going to vary. But what you want to do is go to the vehicle assignment. You look here and now look at the right in the green box. It's going to say he's from the Eastern Alliance, uh, which is a Cold War. His trained vehicle is none. That means if we take him out, but not by our own hand, if we remove him from the tank, he will revert back to a black bar universal commander. But if I take him out, he's going to remain Eastern Alliance. So... Gee, what does that mean, take him out, but not pull him out? Uh, it means this. I'm going to go find another one, and I know exactly where this is. This commander. I'm going to shove this Eastern Alliance commander in the tank, and it's going to bump him out. See, now this one, look at the vehicle assignment. It says his trained vehicle was a T-44A, which is an Eastern Alliance tank. So we're going to go, whoops, vehicle assignment. Yeah, we're going to do this. And we're going to put this guy, oh, sorry, this guy, these are, these are Cold War. Got to go to Cold War, go to Commanders, go all the way over here. There we go. Vehicle assignment, T-44A. No, I'm not going to put him there. I'm going to put him in the one where Voitech is in, and that is this guy, the WZ-122. So let's shove this guy in here and watch what happens. It's premium to premium, or actually it's unassigned to premium. That's free. Bam, free. Now, Voitech has been booted. We gave him the boot. Voitech is there. Look at that black bar. Now, this dude is completely free to be shoved anywhere I want to shove him. Okay? So... Let's go back to World War II because it's the tank tank, the T-A-N-K. This guy, we want Voitech in here. Commander, oops, see in a second. Back it out a second. Commander, not you. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I forget this guy. Don't worry about him. Well, actually, let's, let's go back and look at this guy. Yeah, let's look at him and see what where, where is he going. Oh, awesome. This guy is going to become a black bar commander as well since he has, you see that vehicle assignment? He's a mercenary tank. Trained vehicle, none. Beautiful. We're going to turn this guy back into a black bar universal commander. I'm going to go back out here. Go to my commanders. Where's Voitech? I'm going to take this Voitech. Vehicle assignment. Blah, blah, blah. Light tank, tier 8. I'll cut it down. There we go. One tank. Assign. Voitech. Bingo. Now, check it out. That looks awesome. With Voitech as the commander of this crazy wacko novelty tank so that's how you transfer a commander from one nation to another nation and i even you know went from cold war to world war ii for free if you do it the standard way it's going to cost you 60 gold for that now the other thing is remember that other guy we had callahan that guy it's going to show up he's I have two of him, so there he is. There you look, black bar. 
Universal Commander. I can shove him in any tank now. And I can do this with really, you know, a lot of guys. Let's look at this uh, Sparky. Sparky. No, I trained him on a T-49. So he's an American. He's stuck American, which is fine because that's what I want him to be. And I really don't want to change him. This guy might be changed. Nope. So you see, this is how you do it. You just look at your guys. This was trained in Russian. Whoops. I'm sorry. It says none. Awesome. I could I could train this, but this is a Russian my, my Russian commander, and he's not going anywhere. This is Anna Mueller. She came from the current season. Let's take a look at her. Bamo. Now again, she's German. I want her in a German tank. There you go. But that's all we have to do. This one is another one. Bingo. But this is my gingerbread man. And he came in the IS-2 challenge, or operation, I guess. And so I wanted the gingerbread man always in this IS-2 as a reminder of where he, where he belongs. I got those two together, so I'll keep them together. This one, uh, this girl I have moved before. See, I could literally move her. She was originally in my hole and hood from the Halloween season. But I realized, you know, she would look more awesome as a as my French three star commander. She's the she is the only three star commander I have for France. So I did the same trick, bing bang boom, turned her into a black bar, and then moved her from black bar. I was, she was in Germany, moved to black bar, and then from black bar to France. So she's my lead French commander. And that's one of the things you can do, especially if you have, you know, awesome three-star commanders you want to move from nation to nation because maybe you need to spread them out. What I suggest, yeah, this guy's training tank was Russian. Uh, okay, that was uh, our, our Russian artillery. Hey, whatever. But some of these guys, yes, the Grim Reaper, as you see, crud. I could train, I could move him at will wherever I want. I have him in my T-55 Enigma, and I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, he's another Halloween commander. Where is, I've moved her. Carmilla was, I did the same trick on her. But she's now stuck in the Thresher, which is fine because I wanted her jacket that color of her jacket matches the color of the Thresher almost identically. So she just looks phenomenal in that one. Where is, there we go, the Jolly Roger. Yeah, he trained originally. He was originally in my Thresher. But I moved him to the Magok 5 when I got it. Because it's a crew trainer tank and I needed it. So let's look at, let's take a look and see. Hmm. Three-star commanders. Actually, I pulled this trick on Arnold. Not this one, this one. This is the what I call a postage stamp uh, commander. You see that? None. I can move him anywhere I want. So I can shove him, do the same trick, pop someone in the tank, kick him out, you know, cause him to be booted out by a new commander, and that would turn him into a black bar. Regular Arnold, 3D. Again, I can move him anywhere I want. But he's American. Krampus, same story. I can move him at will. And it's really, for the most part, the three-star commanders, you really want to be able to move to whatever. And I'll explain to you why I did that. Is because, yeah, he's German. He, needs, he stays German. I mean, he's a Nazi zombie. Come on, he's got to stay, stay German. Moved him. Can't move him. I've moved this guy. But he's good. Him, I had to move. This guy had to move the hard way. This one. Nope. He's not moving. He's not moving either. So, the reason you'll notice my three-star commanders. I have a three-star commander for every major nation that I have. America. Blue Nation, Cold War, Green Nation, Cold War, Red Nation, Cold War. I had Wojtek. And I might 
have to replace. I don't really use Red Nation, so it's not a big deal. But I did have one there. I just took him out. Um, you know, German, uh, well, I got Wojtek as a mercenary. I also have Carmilla as a mercenary. But I have her for France and him for Russia. So I've got all these major ones covered. Except now I took out the, the red, but I only have a couple of three or four, whatever. And I don't really use those um, Eastern Alliance. I really don't use those at all. So I don't really miss that. So the primary, the primary mode was to make sure I had commanders that were cool. You know, for the nation of their tanks, like the Russian, like this Russian tank commander. And I have Hilder for my French. I have the Grim Reaper. He's in the, the T-55 Enigma because that was the end of the season tank that we got. And I didn't buy the black Halloween tank for him because this was a heavy tank that I'm not going to use. The T-55 of Enigma is a daily use tank. So I thought that was a brand new cool tank with a 25% commander bonus. So I wanted to shove a 30% commander in there. So I got the Grim Reaper, shoved him in there, and the rest is history. I even had Grim Reaper emblems on, on that tank. So that's how he gets to be green. Magok 5 was exactly the same story. And the only guy I had available was Jolly Roger. And so I moved Jolly Roger, paid 60 gold to move him to the Magok 5. Again, another crew trainer tank with a 25% commander experience bonus. So this explains how to move your commanders. And you can do one-star commanders too. It's not just, it's not just the three stars. There we go. Let's go. I'll take a random one star and see what we can do. See, we'll oh, find one. Well, I mean, we just did the Callahan. We did. He's a one star. So it's not something that's exclusive to, you know, three star commanders or whatever. Let's take a look at her. Go to commander. Yeah, I could move her from, you know, she's a Swedish tank commander. I got her in the operation that ended up getting this tank, the STRVK tier nine. I could change her if I wanted to, but she's Swedish. She needs to stay Swedish. So there you go. It's the only Swedish tank I have, I think. It's not a big deal. We can move these guys at will. No, that's his training tank. We just got to look for the training tank. Whoops. And if they, have a, if they don't have a training tank, well, then you can move them to wherever they are or wherever they, they wanna, you want to put them. This guy, Black Caesar, put him in the Ripper. But if I want, if I need to move him, I can move him for free, as you can see by doing the same thing. I'm just popping American Commander. In fact, let's just do it. I gotta have an un um, assigned, maybe. Actually, I got a better idea. We go to my American tanks, pull out an American commander, clear out those. There we go. Who is this? Yeah, that'll work. Let's go ahead and take her out. Black Caesar is in the Ripper. So we're going to take her and shove her in the Ripper. It'll be a lot easier to find it by tier five. Okay, there it is. So we're going to shove her in the Ripper, and we're going to make Black Caesar a Black Bar Universal Commander. Now we go up here. Where is he? Black Caesar. There he is right there, just as I said. Bingo. There's Black Caesar. He is now Universal Commander. I can put him anywhere I want. This is the secret. Move commanders. Not all commanders, but some of those can be moved for free 
from nation to nation or era to era. So hopefully this will help you out. I mean, it's very useful, especially if you have too many, if you have too many three-star commanders in one nation, let's say you have them in American tanks. You got three three-star commanders in Americans, but you don't have a three-star German or Russian or, or French or anything else you want. You can do the same trick, turn them into a black bar if it's possible by looking at the vehicle assignment and look at the trained vehicle. And if they don't have a trained vehicle, you can turn that guy into a black bar universal and then move him anywhere you want. Because what I have done, like I said, is I wanted to have one commander for each of the major nations where I have tanks so that I can do this. I'm going to show you how I, how I use them. Pretty simple stuff. Let's go here. Let's sort these all American. All right. In fact, let me sort this again. All premium. So these are all premium Americans. I can pull any premium commander, especially a good one. All right. Where's my Arnie tank? That's not it. Wow. Oh, well, that's 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 one that's decent. Where's my Arnie? There it is. My Arnie tank. Now, he's a good commander. He's got five, actually. Where's Sparky? That guy's got some, that guy's got some stuff. And we'll just go back to Arnie. Okay, so I can take this Arnie from this Arnie tank with his five, five perks. I can move him to any premium tank. I want at any time for free. Bang. Now I moved him in the super chaffy. And this is the key. If I want to take a commander and, and, and build it up for one of my skills, specifically, like the Arnie, who's in the super chaffy, I could play all these different tanks, and all the red stripes mean that's a daily double. So when you get a win, you're going to get double commander experience as well so i could do this play daily doubles with one commander bing bang boom and then get a new skill on him and then do the second do the same trick with another commander on other tanks on a different day perhaps depending on how long it takes so i wanted a three-star commander because three-star commanders build commander experience points faster than regular one stars okay that's why i'm doing this i want a three-star and my French is my French one is actually the best one. I should have showed you that one. That's actually better because I don't have that many French tanks. All right. So what I do with the Frenchy tanks is I take Hilder, the Hawk Girl, with her three-star commander ability, and I can just pop it from tank to tank to tank to tank. For free, I get to move the commander for free to any premium tank I want. Building up specific commander's skills. So that's really useful when you have German tanks and Russian tanks and, and British tanks and French tanks. So these will be very helpful to use with a three-star commander because if you, you know, premium tanks. Now, if you have regular tanks, it costs you can still do the same thing. It's just going to cost you 9,000 silver to move them from tank to tank, but you're going to make more than that in the battles that you win anyway. So whatever. It just gives you what I call a universal commander, and I'd rather have a universal three-star because they make the most commander experience, okay? So that's why I wanted to show you how to move your commanders from nation to nation in some cases for free. So hopefully you found this to be helpful. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. This will help them with their commanders. This is not well known. And it's really useful as you can see. So check out those, uh, my other videos. And I'll see you in the next one.